By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to define the concept of curriculum design, define the main components of a curriculum, determine the main aims and objectives of the curriculum, describe the process of curriculum development. Hello everyone and welcome. This lecture examines the significance of curriculum design in contemporary education. It centers on the process of curriculum development to foster an engaging and dynamic learning environment. The objective is to develop a teaching learning experience that encourages critical analysis and enables high quality learning outcomes. So, let's begin with this question. What are the main components of a well crafted curriculum? A curriculum is a structured plan for learning that outlines the educational experiences, content, and objectives to be achieved by students over a specific period of time. It encompasses the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that learners are expected to develop through their educational journey. It's a dynamic framework that guides teachers in shaping the educational experience. Curriculum development is the process of designing, implementing, and refining this plan to maximize learning outcomes. It is an iterative process that involves continuous reflection, evaluation, and revision to improve educational outcomes. It is influenced by various factors, including educational research, societal needs, and the characteristics of the learners. Researchers have meticulously examined the intricate process of curriculum design, revealing its profound influence on the educational field. Tyler, 2013, maintains that, curriculum design involves identifying the needs of learners, specifying learning outcomes, selecting appropriate content, and organizing it in a logical sequence to facilitate meaningful learning. Ornstein and Hunkins, 2018, state that, curriculum design is the process of defining the elements of a curriculum, including its content, structure, and delivery methods. It involves making decisions about what will be taught, how it will be taught, and how learning will be assessed. Drake and Reed, 2018, argue that, curriculum design is a collaborative endeavor that requires input from various stakeholders, including educators, students, parents, and community members, to ensure that it meets the diverse needs and aspirations of all learners. Components of a Curriculum The concept that curriculum is a continuous process is widely accepted in educational theory. Curriculum development is indeed a complex and ongoing process that involves multiple components. Typically, these components include 1. Learning objectives, these are the goals or purposes of the curriculum. They define what students should know, understand, and be able to do at the end of the learning process. 2. Content selection, this refers to the subject matter or topics that will be taught. The content should be aligned with the aims and objectives and should be appropriate for the learner's age, background, and educational level. 3. Learning experiences, these are the activities and interactions that facilitate student learning. Effective learning experiences are designed to engage students and help them achieve the curriculum's objectives. 4. Assessment strategies. This component involves evaluating student learning to determine if the curriculum's objectives have been met. Assessment can take various forms, including tests, quizzes, projects, and observations. 5. Teaching methods, these are the methods and approaches teachers use to deliver the content and facilitate learning experiences. Effective teaching strategies are tailored to the content, the students, and the learning objectives. 6. Learning resources and materials, these are the tools and resources that support student learning, such as textbooks, multimedia, online resources, and other educational materials. Seven. Environment, this refers to the physical and social setting in which learning takes place. The environment can significantly impact student engagement and learning outcomes. Aims and objectives in the curriculum. The aims and objectives of a curriculum are crucial components that guide the entire educational process. They serve as the foundation upon which the curriculum is built and provide direction for teaching, learning, and assessment. Aims in the curriculum. Aims are the broader, 
more general statements of intent that reflect the overall purposes of education. They are often long-term and aspirational, outlining what education should achieve for students in terms of knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values. Aims are typically set at the national or institutional level and may include objectives such as 1. Developing literate, informed, and critical citizens. 2. Promoting lifelong learning and a love for knowledge. 3. Fostering social responsibility and ethical behavior. 4. Preparing students for the workforce and higher education. 5. Encouraging creativity, innovation, and problem solving skills. Objectives in the curriculum. Objectives are more specific and measurable statements that outline what students should be able to do, know, or understand as a result of the curriculum. They are often derived from the broader aims and are used to guide the design of learning experiences and assessments. Objectives are usually categorized according to different domains of learning, such as 1. Cognitive objectives, focus on intellectual abilities and what students should know and understand. They often follow a hierarchy, such as Bloom's taxonomy, which ranges from lower order thinking skills, remembering, understanding, applying, to higher order thinking skills, analyzing, evaluating, creating. 2. Effective objectives, relate to attitudes, appreciations, and values that students develop. These objectives might include demonstrating an interest in a subject, showing respect for diverse opinions, or expressing a commitment to environmental sustainability. 3. Psychomotor objectives, concern the physical skills and abilities that students acquire. These might involve manual dexterity, coordination, or the use of tools and instruments. When developing objectives, teachers often use action verbs that are clear and observable, such as describe, compare, design, or calculate, to ensure that the objectives are measurable and achievable. This specificity helps in creating assessments that accurately evaluate whether learners have met the intended learning outcomes. Both aims and objectives are essential for curriculum development as they provide a clear vision of what education should achieve and how to get there. They help in planning the curriculum content, selecting appropriate teaching methods, and designing assessments that align with the desired educational goals. The Process of Curriculum Development Curriculum development is a dynamic, collaborative process that bridges educational theory and practice. It involves several key stages. A. Analysis This initial stage is the foundation of effective curriculum development. It involves 1. Conducting comprehensive needs assessments of learners. 2. Analyzing current and future societal demands. 3. Reviewing existing educational goals and standards. 4. Examining technological advancements and their impact on education. 5. Considering cultural and global perspectives. 6. Gathering input from various stakeholders, educators, students, parents, industry experts. B. Design. The design phase translates the insights from the analysis into a concrete plan. It includes 1. Formulating clear, measurable learning objectives. 2. Selecting and organizing content that aligns with objectives and learner needs. 3. Developing a logical sequence for introducing concepts and skills. 4. Creating assessment strategies that accurately measure learning outcomes. 5. Considering various instructional approaches and methodologies. 6. Ensuring alignment with educational standards and policies. C. Development, this stage brings the curriculum design to life. It involves 1. Creating detailed lesson plans and units of study. 2. Developing or selecting appropriate learning materials, textbooks, digital resources, etc. 3. Designing hands-on activities, projects, and experiential learning opportunities. 4. Creating assessment tools, tests, rubrics, portfolios. 5. 
Developing teacher guides and support materials. 6. Considering accessibility and adaptability for diverse learners. D. Implementation. Implementation is where the curriculum meets the classroom. This stage includes 1. Training teachers on the new curriculum and its underlying philosophy. 2. Piloting the curriculum in select educational settings. 3. Providing ongoing support and resources for educators. 4. Monitoring the implementation process for consistency and fidelity. 5. Addressing logistical challenges, scheduling, resource allocation, etc. 6. Engaging with students and parents to explain the new curriculum. E. Evaluation. Evaluation is crucial for understanding the curriculum's effectiveness. It involves 1. Collecting data on student performance and learning outcomes. 2. Gathering feedback from teachers, students, and other stakeholders. 3. Analyzing the alignment between curriculum objectives and actual results. 4. Identifying strengths and weaknesses in the curriculum. 5. Assessing the curriculum's impact on broader educational goals. 6. Evaluating the efficiency and effectiveness of implementation. F. Revision. Based on evaluation results, the revision stage ensures continuous improvement. It includes 1. Making data driven adjustments to content, sequencing, or instructional strategies. 2. Updating the curriculum to reflect new research or societal changes. 3. Addressing any gaps or weaknesses identified during implementation. 4. Incorporating successful innovations or best practices. 5. Ensuring ongoing alignment with evolving educational standards and policies. 6. Planning for the next cycle of implementation and evaluation. Note, this process is not strictly linear, stages often overlap and inform each other. For example, insights gained during implementation might lead to immediate revisions, or evaluation might prompt a return to the analysis stage for certain aspects of the curriculum. Conclusion A curriculum is a framework that outlines the essential knowledge and skills for a specific learning level. It allows for exploring and adapting educational experiences, influencing how minds develop, shaping perspectives, and guiding future generations. A well-crafted curriculum acts as a detailed roadmap for teachers who design and adapt the learning units to the unique needs and interests of their learners. In this interactive process, the teacher plays a crucial role as a facilitator, guiding students through the curriculum's content while fostering an environment that encourages inquiry and reflection. This fosters a dynamic environment where students become active participants, not passive receivers of information. Accordingly, the curriculum becomes a springboard for inquiry, critical thinking, and the development of a lifelong love of learning. It's through this dynamic interaction between curriculum, teacher, and students that we reach quality learning.